Friday night baseball from the K. Kauffman Stadium in Kansas City. Kerry Santana gets the ball for the Royals in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. And H, we take a look at the Twins as they begin play here tonight. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Well, Matt, we're watching a team that won the last game, put them at 500. Now, they're not where they want to be, and there's still several games back in the division, but you just keep pushing one day at a time, and you never know if you might be able to gain some ground. There's a swing and a high pop-up. Dozier is under this one, and he's got it for out number two. Here's Carlos Correa now. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Fly ball out toward left center field. DeShields is there, and it's a very quick inning as the side is retired. Now at the plate, Michael Volpe certainly had it working for him at the plate this season. The average is up over 350 entering play. Front door curve is taken. Strike two. That's so difficult to hit. Hard fastball and a nasty curveball. You just have to sit on one or the other and hope he throws the one you're looking for. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. The next 0 2. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. In is Jorge Soler. He went deep in the contest last night. And this is popped fouled off to the right and back into the seats. The wind up and the 0 1. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove. And he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Batting six. Brandon Nimmo swings Brandon. and misses there so he's down 0-1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. That's a high strike on a curveball right there. If he continues to throw that pitch, we won't be mentioning his name very much longer in this game. He's going to have to get that ball down to be effective. That's a nice controlled two-strike approach. You cut your swing down, and all you want to do is see the ball and hit it. Batting seven. Chop weakly to the left. He had a close play at first, but he's called out, and the side is retired. Striding in, Jerome Nash. He'll get Royals. us going in the home half First of inning baseline. number three. Jerome Nash. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. 1 and 1. Uh, and that fastball's too much for him there. 1 and 2. That's a great pitch right there. A fastball low and away, right on the knees on the corner. That's why you get a late swing right there. Really impressive. And he takes strike three cold on the fastball. One gone. Here's the first pitch to him. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Carlos Perez. The 0 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Another one sent foul. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Center fielder number eight. Willie Sends that one out of play for strike one. The wind up and the 0-1. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. The pitch. And this one runs a little too far in. Ball two. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2-1. A wave and a miss. A tick behind a good fastball. And he struck him out. So a fine inning here as he strikes out this side. In. 
Ready for another chance. Rukna Dodor. He'll look to get something going here in this scoreless fall game. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? Oh, you have to look. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low scoring pitcher's duel for once. Well, I think he's trying to get that two strike fastball out of the zone. Just got too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seat. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Rupnet Odor is retired leading off the bottom of the fourth. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Throw in time at first for route number two. Striding in once again, now, Michael Volpe uh, comes into this hitter. at bat 0 for 1 Michael in the ball game. Volpe. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. Nope. And a curveball that started one. low and broke That's lower, two. ball yeah. 1. Fouled back. Pitching has the upper oh, hand early as we're scoreless in inning number 4. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Down in order. Leading into the windup and the pitch. Right. Jorge Here's Soler up. is in to start things out Soler. as he swings and misses at that one at strike one. one, ball, one and here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. On that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. Well, you know you've got it working on the mound when they're swinging right through it, even when you're putting it right down the middle of the strike zone. Not the greatest of game plans, though. So we got him looking there. Or his still there. He's retired for the first Brandon. out in the bottom half of the Nemo. fifth. No runs, just one hit, and no errors so far for the Royals. Hit hard on the ground at first. Ah, oh, way to get dirty. He's out. <laughs> Digging in to try it again. Hunter Dozier. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Weak rounder Hunter. back to the mound. Over. McDonough fields it cleanly, and the throw just does beat him at the bags. Digging in for his second at bat, Jerome Nash. For, oh, for one for him here in this one. And he Jerome swings through a fastball Nash. and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0 1. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Kazada moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. Into the windup and the pitch. Catcher. Carlos Perez Carlos. is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. And he pops him up back behind second base. Ball, ball. I got it. McDonough backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Digging in once again, Willie Wagner. Third trip Number to the plate for him here tonight. Willie 0 for 2 Wagner. at this point. And they start him out away with a cold strike. A swing and a miss no at the good old strike. Uncle Charlie. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Here's Rognet Odor now. No hits in two trips the to the plate for him in the ballgame. At the knees, Odor strike Dan one. Odor. Come on now. The wind up and the 0 1. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. Oh, I think his eyes lit up when he saw that pitch coming up at his eye level. Oh, you think? If you've got a good fastball like he does, that location can be really effective. It looks so tempting to the hitter, but making contact on that pitch can be very tough. Carlos Correa comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. No runs, just one hit, and no errors so far for the Royals. On the ground, softly towards second. And he can't pick it up. That ought to go down as an infield single. You know, it's not often a guy sits in a count 0-2 and, and gets a base hit, and the pitcher still feels like 0-2, oh, I got a battle. But that was the case here as he battled back and got a hit down 0-2. 0 oh, for 2 for him to this Michael point. Volpe. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. A fastball and he swings through it to fall behind. Here's the one and two. The one two offering looked like a slider that time but it's two and two. 
And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Ready for another shot now. Jorge Soler has been a strikeout victim twice Jorge in this one. Soler. In there, and it's 0-1. Curveball. Swing and a miss, and he's behind in the count 0-2. Here's the 0-2. And, and he misses ball. there, 1-2. Wow, that's a tough pitch to take. 0-2 fastball just off the corner, and I mean just off the corner. And he's got another one here. 12 punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the for Kansas City. And here's the former first-round draft choice, Royal. Brandon Nimmo. Left one fielder. for two on his line Brandon so far in the game. Nimmo. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Awfully Inside close with the slider ball. there, but it's one and one. Now that's that old-school slider right there, trying to get in on his hands. We see that with a cutter a lot, but the slider's even more effective because you can't pick up the spin. And a leap over at first, but he comes down with his foot on the bag to record the out. Whew. Hunter Dozier is at the plate now, and he's quickly behind 0-1. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. Here's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. Can't quite get the low outside corner there. It's 1-2. and two. Those 0-2 curveballs are really tough for guys to lay off. There's a reason it's such a common pitch in that count, but he did well to spit on it there. Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters, 13 strikeouts now. I always like watching pitchers that attack with their fastballs until there's a reason to start mixing it up. He hasn't needed many of the secondary pitches so far in this one, and there was another good fastball for a strikeout there. The 0-1 delivery. Uh, had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Now here's the pitch. And he's going to add to the total. 14 punch outs now as that ends the inning. So Raul Alcantara enters to do the pitching. And best case scenario for him is to push this one into extra inning. Well, we watched a really solid starting pitching performance. Kept the opposition at bay. And as a result, he's our top our player of the game. Tonight. Yeah, he ended up handing things off to his bullpen buddies in the ninth, but still eight strong innings from him.